Hagen Face just released the new version of Transformer GS version 3. And it came out with a bunch of very good stuff like the support of WebGPU, which is 100 times faster than WASM, a new quantization for maths, 120 supported architecture in total, 25 new example projects and templates, and over 1,200 pre-configured model. Also, it came out supporting Node.js, Dino, and Bun. And it have a new home in GitHub and NBM. Let's take a quick look at it, and I'm going to show you an example of how to use it with VIT. For people who doesn't know or aware about what is Transformer.js, it's the alternative library in the JavaScript ecosystem for the transformer library which is actually created in bison and here is a code of the original basically transformer library made in bison over here on the left and this is the javascript equal code of it in the right it's a very famous library if anyone used hugging face or anyone in machine learning field know about it or and used it at least once so let's take a quick look at it. I'm going to show you my own code over here. I created this using vet, GS, and HTML. Nothing very difficult over here. This is the new page on the NBM website, and it didn't take off yet as it should be because it released at the same day that Claudia announced their new update. If you don't know what is this update, you can watch this video. This new version of Transformer GS that support a WebGPU have been in development for about one year. And here is an example of embedding using a simple code over here. I'm going to show you this actually in my example. I'm using VET and JavaScript and HTML. I had a little bit difficulty using it following only this code. So my demo better than this demo. And here is the 100 supported architect. It say that this release increased the total number of supported architect to 120. And here is a list of all the supported architect, which is a very long list. And as I mentioned, there is an example project and templates. And I found some of them are very decent, like the Whisper WebGPU. So that's enough talking about the blog and the news. Let's see it in action. This is my own demo that I have created using Transformer GS3. It's very simple. I'm using VET as the main framework for running this entire code. And I have here a simple HTML page with a very simple style CSS. But I have here a few different buttons running different kind of functionality. One for running the Quen 2.5 0.5 billion parameter model classification for image and speech recognition transcripting this audio and finally using a um, simple model to generate embedding from a text and i'm gonna walk you through it i have here the hugging face transformer the old name for it was xnova transformers which is sounded very odd because it's belong to hugging face right now seems like it's it's good naming. Here is the example that I have for embedding. It run extremely fast. As you can see here, I click the button. It immediately give me the results. The first sentence, which is the hello world, give me this embedding. And the second sentence in the array, which is give me this embedding. It's not completely showing everything from the embedding, but you know what I mean. The second example I have here on speech recognition. The URL I have here is for GFK famous line. And so my fellow Americans ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, which is kind of very famous line. I think this is GFK. I'm not sure because I am not American. The third example that I have is running image classification. I have tiger image that's also provided in the demo of Hugging Face. It kind of classify or predict what kind of animal inside this image. It's 61% sure that it's tiger or Banthera tigers. Its classification is kind of alright because the first two are right, 
tiger and tiger cat and panthera tigers which is right this is the last example that i have it's running the queen 2.5 0 0.5 billion parameter model i give it tell me a funny joke and uh, basically the prompt of it you are a helpful assistant which is a very basic one and it generated this kind of a stupid joke why didn't the camera go to school it lost its, it lost its balance and i don't understand this joke even but as you can see here this could show you the capability of what you can do for example the queen 2 model which is this code for it the queen 2.5 over here instruct it's running on the web gpu in our web which as you saw it it's extremely very good if you utilize this kind of technology and you can do a lot of stuff with large language model as we did before you can create rag around it maybe you can chat with it you summarize pdfs do embeddings and i have here this code for the speech transcriptor which is also using the whisper tiny from the OpenAI, and this is the audio of it it's just a url you can upload this the audio that you want and transcript it this is the classification code for the image this is the image url and i upload it to the model and it handled the rest using the model called mobile net v4 and the div dependency that i have is currently is vet and of course the transformer the hugging face transformer which is already installed globally on my machine i have a very simple style but this came with vet you can run it easily by running nbx vet which will run the entire code on localhost 5173 it might be changed or you can modify it however what you like i'm gonna leave all this code in a repo down below so you can take the code and play with it if you want to and there is also the next gs demo which is a very simple one but it shows you that you can run it with next gs which is currently one of the best library but i think a lot of people right now moving to remix and vet and it gives you a simple basically classification for an text i love transformer gs and the label is positive and the score is basically almost 100 percent and this is the demo for the lamas 3.2 1 billion parameter model instruct which is a very decent model for its size that's it for this video. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with a valuable information, please hit the like and subscription button and leave silly comment for the algorithm. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.